it was a bubble in the play or it was just a straight drop but unfortunate for uh, plenty well they're going to be hard on defense here counties monaco look very impressive got some damaging all runners there maybe county's a little fortunate not to concede the penalty there Walker was in there making the tackle on Tao to Manu, the captain, taken strongly. Came last week. So County's rolling forward here again. Cutting back nicely on the angles can get here. Away goes Saip Bele. Another live wire dummy half runner that the County's Monaco team have at their disposal. Tamanu at dummy half. Now Makiha and straight away. County's going over and there's the try scored by Ben Fonakalanga. And a really good start by County's Mount at Manico, both on defence and attack. Yeah, just challenging the opposition one-on-one, -on -one, really. There was a bit of a mismatch in the end, but good awareness. Well, the county side get it out to a big man give an opportunity took the contact and then just kept rolling forward here is again big man on little man very hard to stop unfortunately for, unfortunately for Jaden gillies didn't get any assistance for the Talanga, part of the Hilarcel first 13 last year who which won the national title National Secondary Schools title. So, part of uh, the, the team that won, or well, that didn't beat St Paul's in the Auckland final. But, uh, De La Salle getting it right in the National Secondary Schools. Well, St Paul's actually lost on a coin toss, didn't they? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. were unlucky there. A little like points differential came down to a coin toss with them, which means they didn't get into the semis I think was it semis or final I can't remember one of the two I think it was a final yeah yeah nice conversion there from Jordan Makiha six points to nil Makiha last week three from eight so he'll be happy to get his goal kicking stats off to a good start six points to nil early in this game They're picking up where they left off last week Johnny's pretty strong and have really good football awareness even for the first game of the tournament last week and completed really well executed really well really starved one of the of any ball yeah, did they, well, their execution was absolutely brilliant all the way through the game they look like going to be good contenders that's Ezekiel start he's playing in this under 20s competition for the third year in a row late offload has Penny into the action. What a game he had last week for County's Monaco. Why well, are you telling me he's 24? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Here's Fonatalanga, the try scorer. Definitely a big body, a lot of experience there for County's first star. He was fantastic last week too. Wasn't he? And here comes the other back, Ra Tomasi. They have damaging ball runners all across the park. Saipele, and here goes the kick from Sima Tao. Good hands there from Wairua Jackson Williams for Bay of Plenty. Getting their hands on the ball. So we're going to look for these uh, SG ball players to get their hands on the ball as much as possible. Daryl Walker, he's not one of them. Yeah, I've been watching him around the middle of the park, doing a lot of tackles, covering a lot of ground around that middle there. There he is at Hooker at the moment. Tackle there. So Bay of Plenty really trying to get in there. Pareda slots into dummy half, and there goes the kick from Julian Drinnen, one of the SG Balls players, and he's going to be finding touch. Julian Drinnen, number six, interesting character, just uh, playing for the Brisbane Tigers in the Melmaninga Cup last year. But uh, shifting across to Tasman, and we do understand that most of these guys that have come across to Tasman to be signed by the or to force their way into the Warriors history Bulls who do have New Zealand links. They're just trying to trying their luck across the side of Tasman, which is good to see. Adam Blair does have 36 players in his squad. 
Obviously, he's only 17, 18, get a call up each week, so you're better off giving it a crack. And here's Penny. Good tackle from the fullback, Jackson Williams. Penny, a hard man to stop. And now to Manu. And that's Herbert in the line at fullback. County's looking strong here. Good support play, too. And taking the tackles, Kingeke. Five metres out. Saipele at dummy half. To Manu. All this space up the middle there as Tamanu gets his hands on the ball again. That's Makiha close to the line and it's Monatalanga who's going over to score his second. Well, that's just good rugby league again from County's Monaco. Their execution, completions, really top class. Yeah, it was a nice shift down that left side. It was set up by a fantastic run. I think it was Monty Tomasi who was on the left side. I can't remember, but yeah, it's really good football from counties. Sort of structure that they've got is, is basic, uh, but it's effective, and they're executing it really well. So I'm sure Gary King would be thrilled about this. Is probably a little bit even easier than his first one. One of the longer. Yeah, double for him in the first five minutes. being outclassed at the moment. Able to get in there and get any ruck dominance at the moment. Oh, well, they've had little field position. Haven't they? Oh, they've had no field position, no really. Field position, yeah. I mean, they've had one set, I think, plus a, a set with an error. And here's Makiha once again. Looks like his uh, goal-kicking boots are on today. Two from two so far for him. And it's 12 to nil. Still raise South Island next week. That's going to be an interesting clash. Yeah, looking forward to those ones. Semis too. Plenty of those semis coming up in two weeks' time. Final. On April, in early April. It's Harlan Tamanu with that first carry. Rid of some bad penalty defenders. And unfortunately, Reed couldn't get out of the way. More possession here for Counties Monaco. He yeah, just got tied up, stuck in the ruck there. So Saipele will start playing again and now Tomasi. Saipele not playing last week as we see a nice robust run from Ezekiel will start. Ryan Jeremiah Tamatima when he gets on as well, number 14. He's a big prop with plenty of talent as well. Yeah, it is. I think was it. Incorrect play the ball. Yeah, Ezekiel start there. He, he was trying to rush it, and I could see what he was trying to do. Maybe trying to draw a penalty with the people around his legs still, but I think just just unnecessary, really, when you already forced your way through the defensive line and you've got a little bit of momentum on your side. It's better just to take your time. He's Walker. And he has a rich history in rugby league in the Bay of Plenty, Rotorua region. Now, Reed. It's a good offload to Callum Pereira. Whoops. Oh, he's probably lucky to get away with that. Now, here's a good run from Fakato. Good tackling again from County's Monaco, but he's bounced out of that one pretty well. Now, Pereira again. Another one of these Warriors SG balls playing a live wire dummy half at Bay of Plenty. Get into the 10 now. Here's Drennan. And now Walker. There's a gap there for Daryl Walker. But in the end, Tomasi just got there and made the tackle. Or was that Penny? Close call there for Counties Monaco. Good hands. Reed. He's kept it alive brilliantly. What a pass there. And Drennan. And Herbert's back into the field of play. Well, very close there for Bay Plenty. Well, that, that 
straight away was the injection of three of those four SG ball players. Reed had a major part on that. Kalen Pareto, who's just come onto the field, has also had a big part of it. Whakata also made a break up the middle. So making themselves, uh, they're putting themselves into the game early. Manu almost getting through. That's a good, powerful run by the skipper. Almost got past Garland. Messi play the ball, but play continues. Makiha, here's Penny. Older brother of Ben Penny, who's in the Warriors SG ball team. There's a front row of Makiha. The counties did well to get out of their own, off their own goal line as we go back for Jackson Williams. And straight away, he's drawn him past nicely. Here's a chance for Reed, another one of these Warriors SG ball players. Good footwork. Kihata Teri Hapairo Reed plays the ball. And now. Here is Norua, who got on the try scoring list last week for Bay of Plenty. Got Bay of Plenty's try against Akarana. Away goes the half, uh, the dummy half, Happy. Now it is Fakato. Oh, he's lost it, and he's had it stripped out of his hands. Hard working lock forward. Looking to make an impact here. Of course, these SG ball players, the other thing you must be said, they're all trying to impress Adam Blair to get in the team. They want to play. Yeah, they, yeah. they want to make, make themselves noticed. I mean, Playing in this competition will do that for you to test you against you know, potentially older boys and, and bigger boys, bigger bodies. You know, you, you'd, you'd expect most of these boys to be 17, 18 year olds playing playing against 19, 20 year olds. So, I think the Garland's got to get those big legs pumping. Oh, he's lost it there. But referee Rasmussen's going to penalise counties. Just a little reminder there for Victor Garland. Got to get those legs pumping. Got to get momentum when you hit the line. Otherwise, you could be cannon fodder. Yeah, you... Hesitance just makes it worse. When I, when no, I, no room for hesitancy no, in rugby league. When, you, when, you, when you're hesitant... You get punished. And here's Latonga. Here's a chance for the... Bay of Plenty side down the short side, Happy. It yeah, looks like he got it down. I reckon he did too. And Happy has scored the try. Very good try, Manaya Happy. In fact, it's Jaden Gillies who scored the try, who's gone over the dope ball Phoenix player. And it is 12 points to four. And I like the way Bay of Plenty have come back into this game. Couple of uh, couple of penalties against counties. An opportunity down this end. A little bit of momentum. And straight away they come up with some points. Actually, the first time they've really been. Well, the second time they've been down here. Really, it was good awareness. Jaden Gillies recognised that the short side was still backpedalling. Took advantage of it. Oh, excellent work there from Jaden Gillies. Originally from the Hawks Bay. But he and his brother, who's on the interchange today, are now firmly in the Popor Phoenix system. Here's Jason Harris Kamita, who's going to kick this conversion, have a crack at this conversion. I'm going to back him in. Yeah. Part of the upper central 18s that won the title in 2021, the national title. Oh, hard luck there for Kameta. So 12 points to four. <laughs> It'll stay. But good for Bay of Plenty's confidence to get on the score sheet. Yeah, indeed. And once again, like we saw in that first game, you know, like a little bit of position, a little bit of pressure on some of those big middle forwards. You, know, you start opening up opportunities for yourself. So, like Waikato did against Akarana, if you can starve uh, the opposition of ball, no matter how good quality of opposition they are, you, know, you give yourself um, you know, every bit of a chance of, of actually coming up with with a coming up with something in the game. You know, like, during watching Kalen Pereira, he's just come onto the field. He's wiry. He's a half. Interesting to see him go. And there's Fakato getting that late offload. 
And away comes Julian Drennan. Good pace off the mark from the SG ball players here. All three of them heavily involved in that play. Away goes the try scorer, Gillies, again. That's better. Take those opportunities when they come. Try and tire out some of those big boys around the middle. There's Fakato at dummy half, and now Jackson Williams. Another Rotoro boy. And here's Drennan with the kick. Bunk and he can get there to contest this one. Oh, there's the knock on, and it's fallen for Pereira. And here comes a try to gift. Absolute gift. And Bay of Plenty are right back in it now. Yeah, opportunist try that one, but I mean that kick was just as good as its chase, really. You, know, you offer up the opportunity or the, the question to Robert Herbert to have to catch that ball. You put some pressure on him and contest for it, and anything could happen. And that's just what happened. Luck favoured the brave. And it was this time it was Caelan Pereira who was the beneficiary of the fine work so we'll get another look at it I'll back him in this one <laughs> <laughs> you are a visionary I reckon I'll be 50-50 you're this. buying a lot of tickets tonight you might be winning I'll probably only get half the numbers that's the problem that's true. three numbers doesn't give you really anything no it doesn't it means, here it is once again it means hard luck try again next week yeah Nice big high ball, good pressure. It was Fakato who was chasing through. Time does run perfectly actually as well because any earlier you know, he may have interfered with the full back. The way until Herbert came to the ground and put a shot on him. Yes, I knew it. Woohoo! Twelve points to ten. Kamita. Two on the day, and it's game on here. Twelve points to ten. It can't have been easy for Coach Jason Cummy to, to to weave these guys into his team either. I had a chat to him yesterday. Why he said, "Look, I don't know." He, he was straight up front. He goes, "I don't know much about them at all. All I know is that they they have uh, they've come into my side, and you know, you've got to weave them in there." So time has. Not being the friend, but you've got to say all four of them are contributing early I mean, in this game. I mean, I suppose just having the the ability to have a couple of boys who have trained at that elite level, um, you know, just their even if it's their you know, their first year, you know, having a preseason, having uh, having access to you know, gyms and. Yeah, the high level of coaching. It's unfortunate. Well, it was unfortunate. Gilly's a little unlucky there. That last shot on him on another day. I think it was Saipele who came in. Might have been a uh, been a penalty against Counties Monaco there on another day with another referee. But in the end, some pretty vigorous defence paid off there for Counties Monaco, who have a good attacking opp opp opportunity here. Yeah, they want a complete well in this one, Counties. I'll put the mocker on them straight away. That's my fault, boys. <laughs> it was Penny who spilled that one. Picked up there by Tiona Noroa. And here comes an attack down the short side. Good shift of the ball from Walker. Counties a little low on numbers there. And Bay Plenty, well done to them. They saw the opportunity. And now they've got momentum into the set. Here's Walker again. Yeah. Hear the call of offside, and I think they're right too. Kameta, and now Gillies wearing nine on his jersey, but some straight one off running. Sloppy play. Oh, you're lucky to get away with that one there. Fakato gives it to Jackson Williams. Oh, lovely hands for Reed, and here is Reed. Oh, scratched high there by. Can get here, but gets away with it. Here's Fakato going close to the try line. Well, County's Monaco did well to adjust there. And, well, they did well there. But referee Figo Mortensen is going to go over and have a chat to his touchy. I reckon this is for that high contact on one of those Bay Plenty players. Yeah, I think you could be, yeah, you could be right. 
Oh, somebody's just down here on oh, that. Oh, in fact, there's no, no. Just oh, well, uh, that's... Tomasi. Yeah, that's Tomasi who's been really strong. Not sure what happened in that. It was in that sort of break of play. Well, I tell you what, the scramble D from Counties Monaco there was brilliant. So yeah, they concede the try. Yes, indeed, yeah. Hatatere halfway to Reed. Sort of broke back in that middle there. And they turned up in numbers, tied in well. Reed here. Just wonder whether this contact here, just around the head there, but there's Tomasi. Yeah, no, I, it, that might have been a knee. By the looks of things, that, that was a knee. You just sort of see, see him buckle uh, when Reed changed direction. So Tomasi looks in strife, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah unfortunately, because he is a very promising player. He is. Yeah, really he strong. was fantastic last week too. Uh, he's been in Auckland under-16 rep in rugby union, but now he's switched over to league for the meantime. Anyway, up a toy toy boy. And, uh, what are you, so what you're saying is he's intelligent. He took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. Counties haven't had it their own way these last five to ten minutes. Once again, just that, I suppose that's just an injection of enthusiasm that it's come from a couple of those SG ball players and they're starting to lift everybody else's game which, which is within their team. I just think last week too that, you know, look at the back there, Robin Herbert and Tuati Ramsey who were great last week. They have been starved of the ball so far, and sadly, it looks like Tomasi. This day might be done. I don't like the look of that one. That's unfortunate, especially at you know, this this age. You know, you, you hope it's you hope it's sort of a, one of the minor ligaments within the knee, if it is the knee. But you know, ACLs are ACLs are a, 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 a tough tough to try and. Uh, Keep your knees nice and strong and stable throughout a, a career when you do them early. Absolutely. Well, Tamatimu's come on. A prop. He was oh, no, damaging no, last no, week. No, no, no. As we see Bay of Plenty carrying on here. Fakato with that play. The ball parader gives it out to Drennan. Oh, this is looking good. Cheer for Bay of Plenty. Brilliant shift of the ball here. And a lovely change of angle. And Christian... Letonga has gone over to score a really good try for Bay of Plenty. That was executed to perfection. And the Lakers, they take the lead. I uh, mean, some of the best, probably some of the best football we've seen throughout the entire two weeks of this competition. Uh, the movement was fantastic. Probably had an opportunity to score out on the wing if he had just sort of given the ball on Letonga, but spotted that counties were coming across super hard changed directions back on the inside here it is again big long pass cuts out four players out the back it goes nice injection from jackson williams and the ball out to a singer in the center in the tonga the tonga had the mind to step off the left foot wrong foot all those defenders who are coming across in a hurry to try and cover that was some really good rugby league and Christian Latonga, his first year in a, in a rep team, and he scores a try. And Bay of Plenty have come back from 12 mil down to take the lead here. That first pass, I mean, you talk about good quality ball and that delivery out who skipped maybe four or five of the county's defenders just gave that opportunity to those outside backs to, to ask those questions. So... Unfortunately, missed the kick. But yeah. Bay of Plenty come back and scored 14 unanswered points. Kids hey, Counties Monaco, who themselves were fantastic in the first 10 minutes. Which tries uh, two of them to Fonda Talanga. That's going to be interesting to see how the Stingrays respond to this.
Jordan Marquis had a kick off. Good game of uh, under-20s rugby league. Hope you're enjoying it here. As Carmenta makes a clean break. He hasn't been held in the tackle. Oh, pass up. Exactly. There were two guys unmarked there. Lathonga was one of them, the try scorer. Here comes number 14, who's out there, Angus Gillies now, the brother of Jaden, who got the first try. There is his brother at dummy half, Akato again. Already, they're down to the 30. Way off plenty. All the momentum with them as Drennan takes control again. Pitches another 10 metres. Ruck speed is good for the Lakers. Saipele makes that tackle for Counties Monaco. Drinnen again. Pereira. Here's Pereira. Putting a bit of stepping on again. Reed. Well, it was a tough pass to the winger. But some lovely play again from those SG ball players. Drinnen. Pereira. Yeah, he's playing that half role. And that was... Yeah, that was... You know, we did, we did at least Walsh there where he's got the ball... Really subtly, it's the pace to get on the outside of the defender. Unfortunately, the, the last pass didn't find any hands, but you know, they're, they're gaining in confidence, which is fantastic. Ramsey with that carry. Good tackle there from Manaya Happy. Plenty looking to make a bit more of an impact without the ball. So struggled to do so far. Counties have not had good ball now. Penny in space here. Here's Ramsey again. Ramsey. Oh, lovely play. Here's Penny. Good tackle from Jackson Williams. Well, to be made. Here's Ramsey at dummy half. Stool. Good momentum in County's game here. Good runs by him and Bishop so far. And a penalty. County's Monaco getting a good roll on now. Game on. It's a good match here. That was really unnecessary. Fifth tackle. Here's Fona Talanga, who's got those two tries for counties. And the offload doesn't go to hand. So counties Monaco will just set it up again. Oh, they won't just set it up. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy good there from Simatau. Wearing the six jersey, playing more like a prop. And counties Monaco hit the front again. It is 16 to 14. Well, that was Sima Tao's power on display there. Yeah, probably guilty of just falling off the tackles were bad. Plenty of somebody tried to have a strip at the ball, it didn't come off. And No one else could really hold on to the big man, so here it is here again. Fakato had a crack at the ball, then let go, and then it just it meant that everybody else was scrambling to try and get there with numbers. So great try. Simatau, a uh, Vulcans 18s player from last year, stepping up beautifully, and now Makiha with a Good opportunity to go three out of three, which he's taken. So 18 to 14, topsy-turvy game. It's just how we like it, why? 18 to 14. I tell you, no one went low on him. Yeah, I mean, the, the thought was there from Fokoto. He thought he had a good grip on that ball, and potentially could have a go at it but then nobody else was aware to the fact that once he fell off they were, they were a little bit of trouble that's a good kick off Here comes County's Monaco straight away into the thick of the action Stanley Hingano is out there now cousin of Anta Hingano the Warriors and Tonga play a little mistake has come from County's Monaco Bay of Plenty have got an opportunity. 
That's not what Gary Kenny would have wanted out of his boys. Especially just after a try. I mean, this right side for the Bay Plenty is definitely the threat. Gonna go left, fuck it though. Look at the space for him to run off the back of the scrum. Ruck speed here. The county's Monaco do well to slow him down. Here's Pereira at dummy half. Stepping off that right foot, Tarohu Hona. He's lost it though. It's hard luck for Damien Tarohu Hona. Just fell awkwardly. Tarohu. They're all who hold up. Work hard, boys. So County's Monaco hang on on this occasion. Just under five to play. Very even first half. Three tries each in the game. Just the goal kicking, the difference between these two. With Makiha three from three, four Counties Monaco. Here's Penny. Oh, look at the acceleration into the line. He's exciting. Yeah, they're sitting back and waiting for him to come at them. Ramsey, oh, he's hit hard. He's a tough lad. There's Dwati. Ramsey, a little error though. Getting to his feet. We go Rasmussen has got his contact lenses in today. Not missing anything. Yeah, good bit of resource there from Bayer Plenty. Unfortunate for Ramsey's pretty solid out there on that right wing. I like how he injects himself in the game when he needs to. Right on the halfway. Ball kick and chase on the first tackle. Interesting option. That's Brown Pasture. It's Trinan chasing through. Oh, it's been knocked forward there. And excellent change up there from Julian Trinan. Always interesting to see a kick that early in the count, but it paid off there for Bay of Plenty. Yeah, must have recognised that there was no fullback back there. I thought for a second they actually had a real speedster in their team that was going to come flying through. It wasn't. It was just. Oh no, Dave! It was just. Oh, no, it was just. Uh, Drennan himself, wasn't Drennan, it? Drennan just having a crack at himself. You can see there's no fullback back there. It did pretty well in the end. Um, Pritchard to get back there, but. Jackson Williams is impressive. Fullback. It's another try for Bay of Plenty. Why do a Jackson Williams is over to score it? And it's the Bay of Plenty who have equalized its 18 apiece with a kick to come. Well, why do a Jackson Williams has been super solid at the back? He yeah, has real really safe. This was a nice play. Pack scrum. Nice delivery, just got on the outside. That was I'm not sure who that was who came flying up to try and put a shot on. Oh, that was that was Alengi Penny. New Alengi Penny. Sorry. It was Tavita. Indeed now. Jackson Williams of course. Bay Plenty got a few head knocks last week too. A few players have been ruled out with a concussion. One was their fullback last week. And uh, so Jackson Williams gets the call up. And I tell you what, he's looking fantastic. A little skip on the outside. Brushes off a, a pretty poor tackle in the end. And then goes over for a try that equals the game and potentially could put them in front. He's a young player too. He was in the upper centrals 16s two years ago. So he's only, what, 18? So he could be in this division again next year. Why do Jackson Williams? And he's coming to who missed second or that third try which uh, Latonga got from a handy position so he's won from three in the game so far it's been the only difference this is the first one on this right side as well so Indeed. Oh, he's judged it nicely so Bay of Plenty go back in front Kameta converting that try it is 20 points to 18 just moments before half time 
turn up here. 74 to 6. Bay of Plenty were beaten last week. And here they are leading Counties Monaco. That injection of those SG ball players has made a huge difference to their lineup. Yeah, and you got the sense as well last week that they'd be better for a run. No, understanding the level that they were going to have to play at in order to compete in this competition. And they've turned up today with a good attitude and, and you know, a little bit of injection of, of uh, skill and, to their team. And you know, it's, it's come up, this guy's been fantastic since he's come Isn't up. He's just been a real energizer, Bunny, hasn't he? Pareda got that second try for Bay of Plenty. I love Drinan as well. He's given that control in the halves to them. There's an interesting kick, but it's nicely gathered by Herbert. But a good chase by Reed and Walker for Bay of Plenty. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty good from Drinan. You know, it's, it's, uh, Robin Herbert put down that first one. So I thought he'd go straight back to him and test him again. That time he let it bounce. So they got him that just a little bit rattled. The fullback for counties. Ngano. Counties Manico looking for one last chance here before half time. Can they take it? That was to Manu's pass. Out to Makiha. And here's Penny again looking to run Ramsey into space. Good drifting defense from Bay of Plenty, but they're hard on their line now as Penny. Gives it to Fonotalanga, very close to us. Patrick in the first half, and it's a handover. So Bay of Plenty, hang on. Just, yeah, he went Ooh. over twice earlier on in this game. That time he was looking for a triple. Bay of Plenty now need to be secure with their handling. Counties Monaco will be desperately trying to jolt this ball loose. Walker's been super solid, hasn't he? Some tough carries from the right centre in this game. In this first half, Pereira. That's Fakato. Not much space for him near the ruck this time, but he's got his team a penalty. He's tough. Yeah, just a little excessive. Counties, they I feel like they're... They're getting a little bit frustrated. Trinan looks good. Yeah, that was a, I think that was a pretty little poor defensive effort there from counties. It's just not coming up together. Ooh, a little late, late offload. Tough one there for Fakato. It was Hepton. Yeah, I feel like that was knocked down by counties. You're right. I thought he was looking for a little, little offload. Referee Rasmussen is going to give him plenty of scrum. We're right on half time here. A little bit of injury time, probably. Here it is again. There's a nice little offload there. It was Penny in there knocking it out of the grasp of Fakato. Hebden, Penny Thor is a big body, isn't he? Tell you what, Reed on this right wing side, he's not much to him, but he's tough. I'm not afraid of mixing it with the big lads as Pereira, with that fancy footwork, looking to create space in and around County's big men. It's been dropped there by County's Monaco right on the half time hooter. Really entertaining first half here at County's Monaco. What's not to like about this game? Nothing, I reckon, because it's been to and fro right from the start of the game. And Bay of Plenty deservedly taking a two-point lead into halftime. They lead 20 points to 18. This is the ANZ Premiership. The ANZ Premiership this weekend. See it, believe it. Don't take your eyes off this game. 
versus Netballin. AMZ Premiership, live Sky Sport. This is a place of wonder, rich in diversity, captivating in its beauty. It's showtime. Explore new heights and discover new cultures. A ringside seat at the greatest display on our earth. Feel the adrenaline rush. And learn the meaning of fear. To see a sight like this is phenomenally rare. Embrace this wild planet. With Sky. NRL Telstra Premiership, Roosters, Warriors, today, live Sky Sport 4. The new Skybox is launching soon. It's streaming and satellite TV, all in one. Register your interest online today to be one of the first in line for the new Skybox. We back again, yo. It's that super stage. Wow! With those super dreams and super vibes. Unbelievable! Oh, how good! Super Rugby Pacific, round three, continues today. Oh, I tell you what! Oh, my goodness! It's that Pacific style. Beautiful pass! Where's my super fans at? You know! Welcome to your DHL Super Rugby Pacific, live Sky Sport. Well, 20 points to 18. Hope you're enjoying the game here between Bay of Plenty and Cowdies Monaco in this NZRL Round 2 under 20s clash for 2023. All these six teams from ever playing for the Ruben Wiki Cup, which was won by Akarana Falcons last year. And this is quite a turnaround for Bay of Plenty, who 74 points to six they lost. And then Counties Monaco straight out of the blocks today with two quick tries, both to Ben Fonatalanga and... Uh, they have come back really superbly. But these two tries from Counties Monaco, again, there's Fonatalanga's power driving over for the first one, Warangi Kupu. Yeah, well, and we mentioned how you know, well they executed um, in that game last weekend. And they set that up immediately uh, in this first you know, first five, ten minutes of the game. These are two real well executed tries, well completed. Um, and they put a lot of pressure on Bay of Plenty, but then. He will always pick up a, a triple as well. Yeah. From the but then, then after that, yeah, Bay of Plenty came back with three tries on the trot. They started to pick up some momentum and look, they, they got a couple of penalties and a couple of their SG ball players started to insert themselves in the game and they picked everybody's performances up. This was the first of their tries for Bay of Plenty and then this one came minutes later with a nice kick by Drennan and an error by Robin Herbert. Straight into the Raiders and grasped, and he crossed over for their second. Have a look at it again. Good pressure from Fakato. Locked into Bay of Plenty. Cross over for that one. Raider with that second try. That gave Counties Monaco. This one may have been my, my, probably my favourite yeah, try of, of the game. It was off the back of a sort of slow play the ball and shifted across to the left and went back door, back door and a change of direction by Letonga and he crossed over for their third. He gave Bay of Plenty the lead but then back come Counties again and this one here, remarkable from Tau. Yeah, police don't. Just big strong body, good balance, good drive. A couple of tackles fell off and he went over to score. And well, this one, the back in front, and he had a nice skip right here from Boydua Jackson Williams. Got outside of the centre. The winger just couldn't hold on. Just over for another one. Oh, yeah, 
So 20 points to 18, two from four. The goal kicking stats for Kameta and three from three for Makiha for Counties Monaco. We'll be back for the second half from Pukako here right after this. Sky Sport Breakers. We here for a shot at the NBL title. We here, we here. And we opened up a new chapter. Hung a couple banners up in the rafters. Showed them all in the game that we belong now. We here, we here. I told them I never stop. We here, we here. I told them that on the block over here. We here, I told them all the time. I'ma claim what is mine. Now sit back and watch me shine. We here. Championship Series. Here we go. Game four, Sunday, live on Sky Sport 1. You want goals? We've got them. The goals keep on coming. You want insight? Listen to this. They're saying, you know what? We can win this game. There's a lot of people at home that will probably be spitting out their beer. From domestic to international. I urge everyone to get behind us for that one. From the A-League to the Premier League. Magnificent! Get your football fix right here. That is a sign of things to come. Kiwi Football Fix, every Wednesday on Sky Sport. What a battle! Repco Supercars Championship, live Sky Sport. London, it's a jungle down there. To thrive on these streets, it's a constant battle. It's a brilliant finish! There are no off days. The error, three points coming their way. Chelsea now, Arsenal won. An Arsenal win in the North London derby. Someone's always waiting to step up, challenge the hierarchy. Derby day delight! This one's for London pride. This is Fulham versus Arsenal. Prepare yourself for a broadband service simply made to entertain. <laughs> yeah, but is it fast? Yeah. <laughs> it's fiber. It's like fast. Ooh. So it can handle all your entertainment needs. Ooh. So what are you waiting for? If you want amazing broadband at a super snazzy price, snazzy. Then, then welcome to Sky Broadband. That's my part. I do that. Sorry. That's okay. The Players. This weekend, live on Sky Sport. The championship that delivers it all. Give my soul and I'll take the crown. Unbelievable moment. Six Nations, live on Sky Sport. A new adventure in Formula One. March 18, Sky Sport. Twenty points to eighteen. We've got a really good game of rugby league on our hands here at Pukukohi today, with Bay of Plenty twenty to eighteen. Earlier today, we can remind you that uh, the Akarana Falcons in a tight game against Waikato Mana won twenty eight points to twenty four, and we will complete this round tomorrow with a game in Christchurch between the South Island and Wellington. Yeah, look, to be completely honest with you, Glenn, I was expecting to come in today and uh, be very oh. frustrated by big score lines. Some big score lines. Yeah, and, absolutely, man. And find it hard to be motivated by the rugby league, but it hasn't been the case at all. Pleasantly surprising. It's been fantastic. So, yeah. you know, look, a close game between Nakarana and Waikato, and Waikato did fantastic. And, um, you know, hopefully they're, they're buoyed by that performance for next week. And now Bay Plenty with an opportunity. Uh, for a pretty big scalp here if they can maintain this pressure on counties. Big scalp, big massive upset in the context of this competition. Remember, we've got a semi-final round this year for the first time as we see the second half underway. So we've got one more round of round robin play next week before the semis are played. There's a great return to the football by Hingano, but it's been turned over. And Fakatoda brilliantly there to grab it for Bay of Plenty. Yeah, just got his big mitt in the way, but it was a, it was a really good offload. It's unfortunate. Four counties that yeah, Fakatou was battling to get back and put himself in the middle of that pass. So now a penalty. Tarohu take the tap and maintain the pressure on on counties. Surely, yes, you do. Tuikana Duane is out there now, and this 
is Haere Roa, and he's into the 10. Berglad, he's got another penalty for his team. Duane is in there, going to take the tap for Bay of Plenty. That's Drennan. In comes Jackson Williams again. Oh, that tackle drifting a little high, but referee is going to say play on. Duane there is going to have a crack from dummy half. That's good defence that time from County's Monaco. He's come on at dummy half. Here's Drennan, who's been influential. Pareda as well. Pareda. Those two running the show in the halves. Fakato. Tackling from County's Monaco is good this time. Pereira intercepted by Ramsey to brilliantly holding on to that one. Yeah, wow. That, I mean, that was a tough take. Here's Herbert bringing it out for Counties. That's great, great vision from Ramsey. He got himself in the passing lane. He watched that ball the whole way. Uh, here comes the big guys. Yeah, that's Penny again. We're missing Tomasi, remember, who went off with that knee injury and Great job there from Nuyalingi Penny to win his team a penalty there. Watch Ramsey's take here. Oh. He did great there around his shoulder. Pritchard gets things underway again and coming through his final talanga. We've got those two tries in the first half. Pritchard at dummy half. Amakiha. That's Hangano again. And another penalty this time. In fact, that is Ezekiel Stard who's out there now. And look at that. A bit of feeling in the game too. Yeah, I think, well, it was pretty close that first one to being a bit of a cannonball around the legs. And then that one, mm. it's pretty obvious for Rasmussen. Oh, I mean... I think that was more poor technique than anything. Indeed. So Ezekiel Start was the player affected there, and uh, referee Rasmus is actually going to have a chat here. Just warm them, yeah. I mean, look, the idea is to take them around the boot laces. Yeah. Um, oh, there's a Sinbin. Oh, yeah. That's harsh. I mean, I suppose he doesn't really have. I don't think he has the the ability to see. Obviously, you know, Vigo doesn't have the ability to see the replay. I think it was a little bit unfortunate that he got his technique really wrong. But yeah, look, that's what happens. Wow, good player. See for the Simon Joshua Hararoa. And another penalty. So County's Monaco getting the penalties at the moment. And you've got the numerical advantage for 10 minutes. Angus Gilly was the one who shot out a line there. And he tried to put a good sh shot around the legs of somebody. Came off second best. So County's full set inside the 30. One player advantage. This is the time to strike for them and get back in front. Yeah, and strike a couple of times if they can. Oh, that player just uh, walking off the mark, Frank Tamanu. The captain for Counties Monaco. The Pritchard waits at dummy half. On the Talanga on this right hand side, but they're going to go left. Makiha. Good little shot ball. Good little shot ball. And it looks like. Pamatimu was at Hangano who's got to the line. It is Stanley Hangano. It's a try. And it's Counties Monaco back in front. I'd say there was enough momentum in that to get him over the line. And it'd be interesting to see whether he's held that entire way. But I think he did enough to earn the right to be able to barrel roll himself all the way to the try line. 
So Stanley Hingano. Second year in this county's Monaco 20s team. Gets the try. Been impressive since coming on. All good front rowers. Big front rowers from County's Monaco. Love the line he ran there wide. Yeah, just hard, strong line. Gee, uh, me, I... Yeah, that's an interesting one. I mean, why do a Jackson Williams definitely had a hold of his legs and that ball carrying arm does hit the ground there he's rolled over does that warrant enough of a chance to put that ball down under momentum who knows and Jackson Williams knew straight away didn't he he, yeah, he thought he was, he was arguing on. in the case yeah, yeah. But, I mean I suppose for Vigo Rasmussen the momentum is what carried him over Well, McKee, his goal kicking has been critical so far. That's four from four for him now, and he's extended the lead out to four points, 24 to 20. So the first points of the second half. Feels like there's more points coming, but it's a critical time for Bay of Plenty. Remember, they've got one in the bin. So going to be a tough little period for them as Drinnen restarts play. The Bay Plenty are going to have to do everything really well for the next few minutes. I mean, just in time management as well. You know, if they can manage the time well over the, the next period, while they've only got 12 on the field, then give them an opportunity. Some down with a try scorer. Some good footwork like at the line. Door play. Opening up for Jerome Pritchard. And he's getting the support of their local fans. This is Robin Herbert. Good tackle from Terohu. Honna. Pritchard at dummy half again. Here's Makiha. And that was Makiha's kick right there. Let's put that one very high. Oh, it's good. Bouncing ball here. Look out. Very close that he dropped the ball, and now it's not going to be get down there, and he's still in the field of play. And can you believe it? It's still one tackle left in the in the set. Poor pass to Tamanu. Yeah, it's the little knock on. Bay of Plenty hang on by the skin of their teeth. <laughs> yeah, the pass wasn't all, well. The pass was off that. Oh, that was the last tackle. That should be a handover. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a scrum. It's a kick. It's a good kick from Makiha. Oh, there's no one out there. Just couldn't keep his feet. They did so well to scramble and hold him up in the end. And then this final pass. It just didn't find the money. These little moments can have a big impact in the game as Fakato. Well handled that by both opposite number Tamanu. Yeah, they're doing a good job of trying to shut down those SG ball players now. You see them rushing in and trying to lock up Fakato and Caleb. Reed when he gets an opportunity. It comes to Hebden Penatoa again. Former Northlander. It's come down to Bay of Plenty. Little error there. Good defence from Counties Monaco. In fact, you've got to say in the 10 minutes that we've had now in the second half, Counties Monaco's defence has been first class. They've given Bay of Plenty nothing. Yeah, and they've started to make it dirty too. You know, they've, they've given away less penalties, but their, their aggression and their wrestle is intensified. Which is starting to intimidate that forward pack for bad plenty a little bit more. Add some more pressure on them. Makiha, a little double pump. Gives an opportunity here for Robin Herbert. Tackle by a much smaller but courageous player. Callum Pereira. Makiha again. Here comes Penny. Always runs with intent. And there's a penalty. What do you do here? Take... Keep the pressure on, don't you? Yeah. Bay of Plenty are on and 12 players out yeah. there. Yeah. 
Now all the momentum's on his side at the moment. So here's Funatalanga, Penny. Oh, hit hard, but he's not held, Penny. Very close to the line. He's not gonna be awarded a try though. Yeah, the crowd were excited, weren't they? There's a try for the line, and that's gonna be a try. And it's, I think that might be Stanley Hingano again. It is. Back-to-back -back tries for Hingano and Counties Monaco. Get themselves some breathing space. Oh, he's a big man. He took that ball on the fly and got him down into a nice solid position and just barreled his way through the middle of two defenders. Well, he's having fun, and this has been a that decision to Simbin that player has been a, having a big impact on the score in this game with Hangano getting two tries now. to 20. So this gives you a good show here of Hangano just driving over. He's got good pace off the mark for a big man. He have five from five now. Excellent goal kicking from him. 30 to 20. Counties Monaco were trailing by 20 to 18 at half time. So two converted tries to the Stingrays. And now the scoreboard pressure back on Bay of Plenty. Just got to hang tough here, Bay of Plenty. Get there. Quota back to 13 players. He's, like he's either breaking the line or half breaking the line every time he carries the ball. There's Hingano this time shifting the ball to Frank Tamanu. Tamanu looking for that dominance at ruck time. Gives it to Pritchard. He's going to pinch for 10, 15 metres. Good run by the... In the change hooker. Makiha waits. Can you get this back line firing? And Herbert. Well, the timing not right there for Robin Herbert. And there is a break for Bay of Plenty. Yeah, that was a let off, really, from counties because they had them outnumbered out there. Look, those big boys did a good job of creating an opportunity for those backs to exploit and unfortunately just a pretty simple error in the end. Drinan feeds the scrum. Here's Pereira. He's a nippy runner, isn't he? There from Jackson Williams. Tough rooster. It's Pereira again. Yeah, there's not a lot of them. He's tough though, isn't he? Yeah, but he's playing a good role. He's fucked up. Good strong hit on right. him. To Manu, what a shot. Oh, I mean, that was unfortunate. I think that was a penalty. But... Well, Frank to Manu. Congratulations of his players. Well, regardless of what happened after the shot, what a heck of a shot it was. Yeah, great defence. Good, solid hit there. He, to his credit, he, he got up and played the ball, and then, there you see, the, just the defender coming back through the ruck just kicked it out of his hands. Yeah, but unlucky there, perhaps. Now, here's Penny. Ramsey has a little dart from dummy half. It's under a high tackle as well. Just under 20 to play. It's Hingano. 
Those two tries back to back, and County's looking good again as the offload falls into Fonda Talanga's hands. Now Ramsey. Ramsey, tough run from him. It's all arms and legs, isn't he? Pritchard at dummy half. Tamanu. That's Makiha. Little option. Wairua Jackson. Williams gets there. And a good chase on that left edge for Counties Monaco. Another terrific set from the Stingrays. Good vision from the Stingrays. Summed it up that they were short on that left, on that right side. Little dabbing kick through. Yeah. Look, wait a Jackson Williams did a good job of putting himself in that position to cover, but not much he could do. Interesting to see Counties Monaco. Looks like Harlem Tanamu, who's a uh, wearing eight and was a front row. It looks like he's playing in the centres out on that left edge. It's Tamatimu. What a run from him. He was fantastic last week against Wellington on the interchange today. And now Tamanu, who's coming nicely into the game, isn't he? Just controlling things nicely in the 13 jumper. Pritchard from dummy half. This is critical time here for Bay of Plenty. They can't let County score here. Just kind of drive over again. Tamatimu getting very close. Pritchard. Makiha, nice angled run, and it's Penny over to score. That's good play from Counties Monaco. What a second half they're having. Three tries on the trot. It's 34 to 20. Really well executed play. They went up the middle, drew all those middle forwards in, and then that little shifting play, like a corners play here. You see that the, the uh, the back rower just staying on the outside, looking like he's going to get the pass on the outside, and then the centre back on the middle, back up the middle. It was a gaping hole. You are Lingi Penny. Got a try last week. And now he's got one this week too. Great run. And uh, I love the angle there. He's been impressive in the centre so far in this tournament. going to be Jordan Makiha again to preserve his 100% kicking record so far in this game he only got 3 from 8 last week so still 6 tries to 4 in favour of Counties Monaco and he's converted that one too Goal kicking has proved a difference in this game too, with uh, coming to two from four. Well, they plenty got 15 minutes to turn this around. It'll be tough for them now. Especially with counties really rolling through the middle quite nicely at the moment. And there's another example of just that happening through Stanley Hinano. Taken by Reed and a couple of other Bay of Plenty players on that occasion. And here's Tanamu again. Tamanu. He's played really well in the second half, hasn't he? Everything right has Frank Tamanu. Makiha. Here's Herbert in the line. Herbert looking to squeeze between those two defenders. Bay of Plenty just can't get their hands on the ball and can't get territory at the moment. What was that? Fourth, fifth tackle? It's always tough, isn't it? Ramsey. 
Matisse Monaco get it rolling again. And here comes Fonotalanga. Next man up is Ezekiel Stark. Very close to the try line. Pritchard's going to have a dab. Pritchard's there. Another try for Counties Monaco. And Jerome Pritchard has been excellent coming in off the interchange in the dummy half roll. Extends Counties' lead again. And all of a sudden, Counties Monaco are looking really comfortable now on the scoreboard. Good awareness. I mean, the great run there from Ezekiel start. And, you know, nice quick play of the ball. Awareness to have a go. Didn't actually think he was going to get there. But the extension of the arm by Jerome Pritchard, and the awareness of where the line is. So he's been fantastic, Pritchard. And the starting hooker, might do a Saipele, is back on there now. He's, uh, he's been good too, so he's have, uh, got two very good hookers in this team. Well, four tries in the second half. Remember, Bay of Plenty led 20 to 18 at half time. So 22 to nil. Counties Monaco in the second half. He has got it on a string today. Seven from seven now for him. 42 to 20. Yeah, good response from counties throughout the second half. Yeah, albeit the bad plenty, unfortunately, had a, had a player sent to the bin. Yeah, it's had a huge impact, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. But, I mean, look. You take those opportunities when they come to you in counties when they recognise that they had an opportunity to try and post uh, some points and put some distance between the two sides, they did, and they did it really well. So Pele, as we see Tamatimu come up to his own 40. Dropped by Stark that time, and Bakato's got it. In fact, it'll be a scrum because he lost it. No, it's a penalty. All happening in the space of a few seconds. Nicely done by Jackson Williams. Tries to catch them on the hop. Drennan will have a run at the line. They have plenty of had no opportunity to post points in the second half. Pretty much camped in their own half. Pereira. Here's Fakato again. Yeah, just a bit of composure here. Way up the situation. Try and come up with either a result or a repeat set. And just looking to do something on his, with his independent skill. He's been stripped off his jersey. Oh, how did he hold on to the ball there? Oh, that's unlucky. How unlucky was that? Wasn't given much of, of an opportunity, was he really? And yep, probably more of a focus on, on playing the ball, even though he was. Even though he had his jersey hanging around one arm. I'm not a big fan of that rule, to be honest. I mean. Hmm. I think if you have a good attempt and eventually it goes back without actually knocking it on from your hands, it, it's, I, don't, I don't see the point of it being a, a turnover. Yeah, yeah, being a turnover. Or yeah, yeah. Scrum, really. Unless it's really messy and you sort of kick it into the opposition player or whatever, it's in mean, those little bumbles where it's, you just sort of nudge it forward with your feet. I don't, I don't understand the point of it. Yeah, just play on. The what county's it, coming away. So, Pele, sorry? What it does is it just encourages people just to step over the ball. Yes. Or get to play the ball, right? 
And now another penalty goes against Bay of Plenty. I hate to think what these stats, these penalty concession stats in the second half have been. You start throwing himself into the line again. Ezekiel Stark, great run. Ramsey at dummy half, Makiha. Nice little inside ball to Frank Tamanu. Who shrugs off a couple of tackles. Tamanu's inside the 10. He's getting close to the try line again. Still driving. Incredible. Saipele. Big charging run here. And again, these big, powerful front row forwards are just too strong for the Bay of Plenty defence. And going over is Harlem Tenamu. And Kiari's score another try. Yeah, just the weight of pressure. The sustained pressure from counties on the, on the Bay of Plenty line. I suppose having to do so much hard work through that 10-minute period. You know, there's Bay of Plenty boys just starting to fall off. A little bit lackluster in terms of defensive efforts now, but understandable. Put up a really good fight. Just couldn't sort of couldn't maintain it. Well, haven't, haven't Counties Monaco got some damaging props in their squad this year? Ezekiel Start. We've also seen Tanamu score there. Tamatimu, Hingano, all have been really influential. And they've, they've deliberately used Tanamu wider of the ruck on that left edge. And moved in there when Tomasi got injured. Tomasi, the left back row. So they've just moved Tanamu out to that left edge yeah. back row position, and he's been damaging. Let's hope it isn't. There's Makiha. Another one goes through. 48 to 20. Every single try counties have scored today has been converted by this player. Great effort from him. Eight tries now for counties Monaco. And a lot of them in the second half. Five now. Don't want to see that, do you? I reckon you're right, it is Drennan. Malachi! Yeah. On a try or field goal? Well, six minutes to play, and it's just gone, everything's gone County's way in the second half. There's a bloke who barely kicks the ball. Can't decide which way he wants to put it. On the tee. The fuck it's out, the lock. There you go. Licence revoked. <laughs> Driven into touch. That's good chasing by the Bay of Plenty defence. You see, I reckon that kickoff was deliberate. Because look what happened. Warangi. So the licence is back. Fakato reckons it was deliberate too. Absolutely. Yeah. Gillies gets things started again and here comes Manaya Huppy just been outpowered in the second half as we see Hebden Pinatoa on a shrug off Tanamu uh, who scored that try for Counties Kameta in that dummy half and here comes Huppy again he's well looked after by that uh, county's Monaco defence. Pereira. Good little ball to Latonga who got that try in the first half. Plenty looking to get something out of the second half. And Pereira is going to give him 
that four points. Some pretty soft defence there, it must be said, from Counties Monaco. And Pereira goes over to score his second try of the game. Yeah, just kept his balance about him. Just the fight on this kid. He's been really good, and he's moved around different positions. I think he came on maybe as, as, a, as a lock. I've seen him at hooker, giving delivery out of dummy half. He's stepped up and sort of played as a half. And the, yeah, the good thing about him is that he, this is one of those boys that has come over from from Adams uh, Ableri's SG ball side. He's just want he wants the ball. He wants to be involved. He's already picked up one try today off the the, the uh, deflection from the drop ball and the, the kick. But then this one, just pure will, really. Yeah. Callum Pereira from Redlands Rugby League Club in Thornlands, South East Coastal Brisbane. Yeah, yeah. That's where he's from. Yeah, he just wanted a ball. So he's coming to. I hope the yeah. I suppose the hope that the, that attitude and effort uh, that those uh, younger boys who have come into this side out of the SG boot ball squad. I hope that uh, you know that that sort of attitude and effort spreads amongst the rest of this Bay of Plenty's players, realizing that um, you know if they're they're willing to put the work in and, and yeah really have a dig that you know they can come close to to toppling some of these these teams with a lot more depth and a lot more power and size. Well, in the end, counties have run away with this second half, but if you actually compare. The growth in this Bay Plenty team from last week to this week is huge. Yep. Massive difference. I mean, more than competitive. They just got a couple of decisions go against them early in the second half, and they didn't respond to that adversity, did they? They didn't back up when they, when things got a bit tough for them. But it's all part of the growth of team of it, of the team, and here they are, chancing their arm a bit here. Some great hands on this left flank here by Noroa. Good work from Bay of Plenty. And it's gone against Angus Gillies, who reckons he was interfered with while he was playing the ball. But again, those 50-50 calls have all gone County's way in the second half. And that's what happens sometimes. You've just got to put it behind you and get on with it. Hey, hold that ball. Play it properly. Home team advantage too. It's always good for a couple of extra. It's great coaching. Well, only the last couple of minutes now. The county's Monaco going to go two from two, just like Akarana. But the two Auckland teams... Oh, well, they've had to, they've they've had to, to work for it. Exactly. They've had week. to fight for their wins yeah. today, which is great. Saipele. But you have to say, Counties Monaco have come out of their challenging situation pretty well in the second half. Remember, they trailed by two points at half time. Saipele. Here's Tamatimu. The game coming up next week for the Counties Monaco Stingrays. They play the South Island Scorpions. We're going to see an action tomorrow. Ezekiel start. Be brilliant in the front row for Counties Monaco in this game. Maybe one last try here. It's Saipele is going to waltz over and take out referee Rasmussen as well. Don't get a bonus point for that. And Counties Monaco crack 50. Yeah, much right at the end of the game. Some tired defenders for the Bay of Plenty side. They've tried their best out here today. But that was a pretty easy one. Yeah, Saipele getting the score. It's been an entertaining game. 
78 points with a kick to come. So more than a point a minute. Yeah, just, I mean, no, no markers. One marker left on the ground. He had an opportunity there, spotted the gap. Went straight through the middle. So one last look here. So, um, Maitua Saipeli getting that try. Scored a try and a tackle. Yeah. At the same time. We've got to change a goal kicker here. Zafuna Talanga kicking that one. There it is. Yeah, that was the Huda. And that will be the end of the game. Referee Rasmussen done and dusted. So a big win for Counties Monaco. But a gallant performance by Bay of Plenty in the end. Much better than they were seven days ago against Nakarana. The Counties Monaco too good in the end. Comfortably winning in the end. 54 points to 26. Nine tries in the game. Every single one of them converted by Counties Monaco's kicker, Makiha, and that last one by Fonatalanga.